Hello everybody, welcome back to the Network Berg. Uh, today we will be continuing our video where we were discussing uh, the installation of GNS3. So today we will actually be installing GNS3, how exciting is that? Uh, before we dive into the actual video, I would like to recommend you or remind you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. It does help grow the channel and it allows me to continue pushing content out like this. Thanks so much to the guys that have already subscribed, I do appreciate it so much. So where do we get GNS3? We can get it from their website. <laughs> it's quite obvious actually. So we can go into any browser and we can type in www.gns3.com or go to Google and you can type in gns3.com into your search bar and it will redirect you. The first hit should be their web page. So let's quickly go there. I'm just gonna close down Chrome here, going to open up Firefox. So let's go to www.gns3.com. Sometimes you get these capture things, but it's it's more Google related than anything. I really dislike it. Okay, so now we're on the GNS3 website and we can see there's some nice video playing in the background and there's a couple of ways to download GNS3. Uh, the quickest way for me is you just click on this free download button and GNS3 will ask you to either sign up or log in. So you can sign up with uh, any address that you want to, um, preferably a personal address or something that's linked directly to you, but it doesn't matter. Just as long as you sign up, you can use whatever information you have but your email address will be required for some verification and maybe some promotional material as well from gns3 so you can sign in from here um let, let's just create an account quickly john do 27 at hotmail.com this is not my email account this is some fake account so please don't spam this person if you do that's very uncool of you um, the network bird and I am from South S South Africa there we go education and training create account so once you've signed up it instantly brings you to the download page and from here we can select how we want to download or for for what we want to download uh gns3 for is it for linux is it for mac is it for windows i will primarily be covering windows because this is my preferred operating system of use but if you use something else you're welcome to download a mac or linux i just not, might not be able to help you configure it to its base since we will be using um, something else that might be incompatible with these other two operating systems. But I'm going to use Windows. I'm just going to click the download button and it starts the process of downloading the installer. So we just save this to file. It will download this to our downloads directory. So let's just wait for this com to complete. Once it's completed, it will be in our downloads directory. There you will see GNS3 version 2.1.21. So this is what we just downloaded. So let's double click on that. It will open up the installer. We can just say yes. It will say the setup will guide you through the installation of GNS. So this is quite very basic in installation terms. You just go next. We can agree to the license agreement. We can say which folder this will be saved under. So that's GNS3. What are we installing? Well, these are different plugins and different types of things that you can install with GNS3 to help improve it. I recommend just leaving it exactly as it is. Don't try and tweak or turn some of these stuff off because you can use Wireshark with GNS3 to do some very nice packet capture. Uh, Solar Putty is also quite nice. Uh, so I would recommend just leaving everything as is. Just click next. Where are we going to download everything? Well, we're downloading to C program files, GNS3. And it's starting the installation now we just need to wait for it to actually finish the installation there is a few things that you will have to click next or no or etc on 
So I'll wait through this process with you, but it's hopefully not going to take too long. This is actually a quite set up, uh, a quick setup to do. Um, even with a slower internet connection like an, a DSL line, it might take you like 30 minutes. But if you're on a nice quick fiber link, then it's, it's a matter of minutes to get everything installed and up and running. So let's just see, it's just busy downloading Wireshark now. And while it's downloading Wireshark, do you know what Wireshark is? It's a great program that allows us to basically drill down into network communication so that we can see everything from layer one to the application layers. So it's very great for debugging uh, maybe a problem that you're having on your network. So let's say people are complaining about some voice issues. You could do a Wireshark packet capture and you could literally see the voice traffic and what type of messages it's sending. And you could almost uh, identify what issues the people might be having just by doing this Wireshark. It's very detailed, but it, it will give you everything that you need to find the problem instead of just thumbling around blindly um, trying to figure out where the issue is. I mean, if, if you're doing Cisco certification, a lot of the times they ask you about troubleshooting method methodologies like up to bottom or bottom to up or uh, divide and conquer. And a lot of people are like, what is this stuff? What is it? And they're just talking about the OSI layers and how you tackle it. Do you start from application and then you work your way down so from top to bottom, bottom to like the physical layer? Or do you start from the physical layer and work your way up to the application layer? I generally go from the application layer to the, or not to application, from the physical layer to the application layer, but also you get divide and conquer where you start more in the middle and you work your way towards where the problem is. Because if you can identify something like packet loss, then, you, then you're going to start thinking, okay, but this has to be maybe a layer three or two issue. It's not going to be something that's happening with an application. But if you're seeing maybe some weird things happening on an application when you click somewhere that could potentially be something on the application layer okay i see solar party has finished installing let's just click next i generally don't get this free stuff from solar winds but you're welcome to if, if it interests you but it's just some extra stuff that you need to run and install okay great so we finished the the setup before we start gns3 i'm just going to finish this It'll take you to the GNS3 page, tell you thank you, etc. You'll still be logged in, but uh, we're not going to continue there. So let's close that down. Okay, so let us find GNS3. So we can go into GNS3. And since this is now a clean setup, it will ask you, hey, how do you want to run GNS3? Um, we are going to run it as a modern iOS. Uh, we will be using the GNS3 VM and I'll show you how to install that in an upcoming video, but we're going to end this off here. I just wanted to show you how to install GNS3 and you have done it. So from here, you can just click cancel. And when you maximize this, you are in GNS3, you've successfully installed GNS3. So what I tend to also just do before I continue with anything, I just change the style to the charcoal. So it looks all nice for me. And I'll just quickly show you how to create a project, but uh, nothing too serious. New project. So now we are in GNS3 and we're able to actually start working. Very minimal stuff that we can do from here since we don't have the VM yet. But we could drop in like a ethernet switch and we could drop in a virtual computer or two of them quickly. And we can quickly turn them on. We can put both of them on the switch. Isn't that cool? And if we double click on any of these nodes, it will open up Solar Putty, um, as you've seen me done in plenty of my videos, where we are now in that computer, that virtual computer. Let me just bring up the other one as well. So let's just question mark. Okay, IP. IP. 192.168.0.1 slash 24 with the gate. We don't even use the gateway. 
ip 192.168.0.2 slash 24. Cool. So this computer has an IP, this computer has an IP. So now we can actually do a ping 192.168.0.2 and we get a response. So we've got a little very basic network here with some very dumb virtual computers and a very dumb virtual switch. But uh, as you've seen, I've built on very different topologies. I've added Cisco switches and routers, Mikrotik routers, 40 gate firewalls, whatever you can think of, I've added here and I've played around with it and we can make it work with our upcoming labs. But this is just to get you started. You've successfully installed GNS3. Uh, if you haven't encountered any issues, congratulations, you've, you've done a huge step and we will build on this in the next video where we will be bringing in the GNS3 VM. But before we bring in the VM, we'll actually be installing um, some uh, VMware tools so that we can actually run the VM. But more on that in the next video. Thanks again for watching. I'd like to recommend you again to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you again in the next video.